Hello and welcome to Fanshawe College's virtual open house. My name is John Singh and I work at the Reputation and Brand Management Department at Fanshawe College. I will be the host for today's session. Before we begin today's session, I'd like to do some housekeeping items if I could. And uh, what they are are the audience webcams and microphones are turned off for this session. If you have any questions throughout the session, please submit it to the questions feature to open the questions feature, click on the question mark. Following the session, we will have a live Q&A with Kristen, and from the questions submitted, we will try our best to get through all of your submitted questions within the session time. If you have any further questions after the session, we recommend that you email myfuture at fanshawec.ca or book an appointment with one of our Fanshawe College recruiters. If you have multiple program opening on your devices, it may compromise your webinar experience. We are recommending that you take a moment now to close any open programs before we begin today's session. And so now we are going to play a uh, video and we're going to transition to that. And I'm going to take myself off. Welcome to Fanshawe College's Virtual Open House. This is a presentation for the Educational Support Program offered exclusively at the Woodstock Oxford Regional Campus. My name is Kristen and I'm the coordinator of this program. If you have any questions after this presentation about what the program will be like, please feel free to contact me at kschroeder at fanshawec.ca. If you have questions about the college or admissions, you can contact Eric Collins, whose email and phone number are at the end of this presentation. I first wanted to go over a program description. Graduates of the Educational Support Program will have the skills and knowledge required to become an Educational Assistant, or EA. Or EA. As an Educational As an Assistant, you will be a valued member of a school team working together with teachers and other support personnel to positively impact students. EAs play an instrumental role in making a difference in the lives of learners with exceptionalities as they help to create an inclusive learning environment. An inclusive education is about providing opportunities with supports for all students to have access to and contribute to an education that is rich in content and experience with their peer. Our educational support program will give you the knowledge and skills to support a wide range of exceptionalities. Additionally, in the educational support program, students will learn how to develop strategies to encourage independence in accordance with learners' individual education plans, or IEPs, including areas such as mobility, communication, and personal hygiene. This will be learned in classes such as technology and education, where students will learn to develop strategies and opportunities that will allow learners to access the curriculum using assistive technology in accordance to their current needs. Implementation of instructional strategies is another class in our program. Here, students will discover how to appropriately apply concepts such as differentiated instruction and universal design for learning in order to meet the individual needs of their students in a way that will allow them to participate and learn effectively in an inclusive classroom. Every level of the program will give students a real-life opportunity to connect theory and practice. This starts right away in the first term, where students will work on their observation skills while paired with an educational assistant mentor who is currently working in a school. In a classroom, students will begin practicing documenting without judgment, charting and data collecting, and reflecting, while observing their mentors interact with students from multiple age groups with varying needs. This is a great opportunity for level one students to get a realistic idea of what a career as an EA would be like, as EAs can work with students from kindergarten to age 21. As previously stated, all levels of the program have students working in a school setting while under the mentorship of an experienced EA. 
This is something that sets our program apart from other colleges. Students will use this experience to implement strategies learned in their classrooms to help develop their skills that will support learners with exceptionalities. Students will be able to add valuable tools to their toolbox that will help them support the independence of learners with exceptionalities in the classroom. They will do this by using the most up-to-date assistive technologies. This includes devices such as listening or reading aids, computer software, and speech and augmentation aids. Through research, workshops, and hands-on experience with assistive technology, students will develop a deeper working knowledge of the latest technologies and devices for the classroom setting. EAs support their students in a variety of areas. First, they provide universal supports for learning in collaboration with the classroom teacher. This will include things such as implementing curriculum or activity accommodations and modifications. In addition to academics, students will learn strategies to support learners with exceptionalities with their performance of different skills. For example, routine activities of daily living are self-care tasks such as personal hygiene, grooming, and dressing. Additionally, there are skills that help an individual live independently. These are called instrumental activities of daily living and are skills such as cleaning, prepping food, interacting with their peers, and using a telephone or other modes of communication. In the first semester of study, students will take seven courses. Each of these will have around one to two hours of work required of them outside of the classroom. Our campus has a resource room with convenient study rooms available for study groups or group projects. The educational support program is 60% theory and 40% practice. Graduates of the educational support program will have over 500 hours of monitored field experience by the end of their program at Fanshawe College. This is extremely appealing to potential employers as they know our graduates have already have extensive knowledge of the school system in which they are applying for jobs. That's thanks to four community-based field placements, one in each level of the program. At Fanshawe, we help our students find pathways. These are different academic routes a student could take to gain recognition for their prior learning. For example, graduates from the Educational Support Program are eligible for the fast-track versions of the Developmental Services Worker or Child and Youth Programs, worker and social services worker programs. Graduates can also apply for advanced entrance into Fanshawe's Bachelor of Early Childhood Leadership degree. They are eligible to apply for a graduate certificate in autism and behavioral science. This is something that would come in handy as an EA. Additionally, graduates may be eligible to transfer some credits earned in this program towards a university degree. Career Opportunities I've mentioned career opportunities previously, and I wanted to touch on exactly what those are. Last year, both the Catholic and public school boards had unfilled vacancies for educational assistant positions. There is a great need for EAs in our schools, as well as other special education or community-based educational programs. We are already getting calls from school boards asking when they can start mentoring our students. They are very excited about our program. Our program will prepare graduates to work with exceptional students from kindergarten up to the age of 21. Even at the college level, there is a need for supports for students. Additionally, graduates will also have the opportunity to work within a unionized environment. If you are wondering what our campus is like, here's a little overview. Our campus was established in 1968. At the Woodstock Oxford Regional Campus, we have much smaller class sizes while still having all of the modern facilities of a larger campus. All student services and most classes are in the same building. This gives the campus more of a community feel. You will have the same professors and classmates throughout the program, which allows relationships to be fostered in a way that is difficult at a larger campus. We offer multiple full-time programs and apprentice programs 
as well as many part-time programs and courses, including academic upgrading options. Students have the opportunity to apply for more than $5 million in scholarships and bursaries, and we have free parking. We are located just minutes from both Highway 401 and 403, and the city of Woodstock is a lovely blend of urban and rural lifestyles, which results in plenty to do. All of our student services are available within steps of each other. This includes accessibility services, academic advising, career services, counseling services, First Nations Center, library and media services, peer tutoring, and much more. If you are interested in applying to the Educational Support Program at the Woodstock Oxford Regional Campus, you can visit ontariocolleges.ca. If you have any issues or additional questions about this process, please contact Eric Collins. When you are applying, make sure you review this list and have all of the required materials. This list can also be found on the Fanshawe College website. Thank you for watching Fanshawe College's virtual open house video for the Educational Support Program offered exclusively at the Woodstock Oxford Regional Campus. If you have any additional questions about what the program will be like, please feel free to contact me. If you have questions about the college services we offer, the application process, or admissions, you can contact Eric Collins at e underscore collins at fanshawe.ca or by calling 519-421-0144 extension 244. For more information about the program, you can also visit our site on the Fanshawe College website. Again, thank you for listening and I hope to see you soon. So that is a overview of our program. And if there are any questions, I am here to help. Yeah, if, if uh, you'd like to give some questions, uh, maybe you could start off, Kristen. I don't have any in the queue right now, but if they wanted to uh, write to the question queue, which uh, we can we can get that addressed if if uh, they have something, but maybe you could ask some commonly uh, stated questions that you have to field as a uh, professor. Sure, um, so one of the questions most common is workload. Um, so I did kind of address that in the video. Probably the best way to calculate your workload weekly is for every hour of class, you should think of one and a half to two hours of work outside of the classroom. Mm -hmm. um, another question would be, are there jobs? And especially with COVID happening right now, and what does the future of this field look like? And I can tell you that I still have um, schools that we have been talking to, asking when our students are going to be in the classroom and when they can start bringing them into the um, rooms to be mentored and things like that. So. Absolutely, there will still be jobs for educational assistance after this um, situation is figured out. Um, do we have any questions yet? Um, not yet, not yet. Maybe I'll read uh, how to do that again. Again, you need to go to the questions feature and click on the question mark. And that way we can generate some text so that we can have Kristen directly doing that. So I know we've got some people watching. If they'd like to do that, we can then answer those uh, questions. Otherwise, uh, you've got the information that Kristen uh, gave you about Eric Collins um, out there in Woodstock, as well as my future at fanshawc.ca uh, to book with our college recruitment team. Uh, as well, so they will channel that through to Kristen uh, as well. So I'm hoping that uh, we have a, a few people that can, oh, we do have one. Is this course online as of September, 2021? That is to be determined. We're not really sure what the fall is going to look like just yet. Ideally, it would be in person because um, 
with this program, there's a lot of hands-on, especially with technology um, and just getting those real life experiences. Currently at Woodstock, we're working on putting together a experiential room where students will actually get to have hands-on um, experience with the technology and practice real life situations in a classroom setting. So ideally, um, we will be going back in person. There might be some online functions, but again, that's so far in the future that we don't really know exactly what it's going to look like just yet. Okay. Another question I get is, is this offered at any other campuses? Um, currently, it is only at the Woodstock campus. Um, after we run it successfully for a year, the plan is then to move it to other campuses. So if you're not sure about going to Woodstock and you want to wait for a little bit, I know St. Thomas is really excited about having this as well. Um, I'm not sure about the other campuses, but I know St. Thomas for sure. Okay, all right. Um, what about um, specialized uh, software or uh, computers or tablets, uh, things like that? Are those things that you could recommend or not recommend to get? Um, I would 100% say get a computer with internet access, um, especially with, uh, if we do go online, you will need some access to all of the um, Microsoft Office Suite, which you will be provided as a financial student through our IT services, but you will need a computer that will be able to access that. Having just an iPad or a tablet doesn't really provide the functionality that you'll need in order to do all the things PowerPoint and um, recording and Zoom. And I have some um, students who have both, but um, a computer for sure. As for the specialized software, we'll have that provided through the school. You won't be required to purchase anything like Dragon or Kurzweil or something like that. Um, okay. And more for the hands-on thing at our campus, we do have iPads, which are commonly used in the school system for children with exceptionalities. So we'll provide those. You won't be expected to buy an iPad. Okay, I've got another question from one of our students here. Uh, do you recommend any other uh, program before taking EA program? Um, I think that would be something that you would have to think of personally. I wouldn't recommend anything if you're kind of on the edge of I want to work with children, but I'm not sure if I want to work children with exceptionalities. Um, we also offer the ECE program, which I also teach in the early childhood education. And there's also child and youth worker program. All of are also offered at the Fanshawe campus. Um, for our program specifically, we share a couple courses with the early childhood education program. So there'd be some overlap there with the courses. Mm -hmm. um, so that might be something um, you could take a look at. All of the courses for our program are listed on uh, the course website at Fanshawe Online. So you could kind of look at the course descriptions that are listed and that might give you a better idea if this is something that you'd be interested in learning, as mm -hmm. well as the ECE class descriptions in the CYC and um, CYW program as well. Would there be any co-op opportunities or do you see uh, places of placement where people would be placed at, even after their term is done? So we do have placements built into this program. There's one every term. So I can go into a little more detail about that. The first semester is strictly an observation. So the first half of the term, you'll be in class kind of going through a preparation I believe that class is called um, field placement orientation. And then the second half of that class is actual placement. You'll be paired with a educational assistant in the school board, and you'll have kind of a range of experience. We want to have, because you it's not just like an ECE, it's not just kindergarten and um, child care centers that you can work in. You can work in all the way up, like I said in the video, to age 21. Right. So we'll kind of give you a view of what being an educational assistant is like on a day-to-day -day basis before we throw you into a placement where you'll be expected to start interacting. 
So that first right. place we'll be working on documentation and things like that. And then the following semesters, um, semester term two, three, and four, you'll have placements where you'll be engaging with the children. Okay. All right. Well, that sounds great. That sounds great. Well, um, I have I don't see any more questions that have come out. Uh, let's see what else have we got here. Nope. Do people get placed uh, in the Woodstock area, or where did they end up uh, migrating to? So that will depend on. It will be similar to how we do the ECE. Since we haven't had the program where um, in ECE, we kind of place out a survey to get students, do they have a car? Do they have access to carpooling? Um, where do you live? Because with Woodstock, not all of our students live in Woodstock. Some right. live in Tilsonburg or Stratford or something like that. So. We try to get um, an idea of where the students are to make the placements easy for them, but we can't guarantee that there will be a school that has a place available. So generally we kind of start in Woodstock and the places that students live, and then we have to go where the placements are. Okay, uh, we've got one final question. Is there a great support in this course to help people with IEPs? and mental illness. Absolutely. So um, we have some lovely people at our campus that um, provide counseling support, and we have a student success advisor, we have, um, and those are the people you would kind of meet in order to, if you have an IEP in high school, you would get um, what we call accommodations at Fanshawe. So you would meet with the counselor, they would go over um, all of those, opportunities for you and then you would get an accommodation sheet that you would meet with every professor that you have and kind of go over how those accommodations would look in each of your classes whether that's extra time for exams a quiet space um, recording classes whatever that looks like um, we definitely have great support for that Mm -hmm. Maybe you could describe the wildlife that's around the campus as well, too. <laughs> so we have a lovely lake overlooking. Yes. So we have a, um, a cafeteria area and a student lounge area, and it's kind of like a window, a wall of windows. And behind the window, we have a lake with ducks and trees and a nice walking path all the way around. And it's beautiful when it snows. If you're, it will be snowing. So it's very, pic, it's very picturesque. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, we're down to our last minute, so I'm just going to do our closing uh, mm -hmm. statement here. Um, again, we want to thank you, Kristen Schroeder, for participating today for us at Fanshawe College with your program, which. Uh, is the educational support at uh, Woodstock. Uh, we want to thank the students who submitted questions today, and we hope that all our answered, your questions have been answered. And if you think of any more questions, please contact the college recruitment team by email at myfuture at fanshawc.ca or booking an appointment with one of them, uh, fanshawc.backslash connect or Eric Collins, uh, E underscore collins at fanshawc.ca uh, we want to thank you very much and don't forget to watch your email as we will be sending you some details about our open house activities this saturday and again Catherine or Kristen, we want to thank you so much uh, for participating today and i'm going to close the uh, session so thank you so much thank you so bye. much bye <laughs>